Okay, welcome to round one. There's the deck for this Rivals of Ixalan draft. My phone is not working. Lost Iral, a Weapon 77. Come on, let's be real, that's a garbage name. It's garbage. This sounds pretty good though. Two drop into three drop into three drop and removal spell. And our deck has basically very little removal spells, so this is definitely a slam dunk. Keep couldn't really ask for more. Um, this deck's pretty medium. Um, it's shining light is that it has two Bellow Mage Swords, which are not even that good. So, but we're trying to go wide, maybe create a board stall, then get those guys out. Wow, we dodged the two drop. I'm feeling strong. Uh, so what two drop we play? That's the question. Dun, 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 dun. Probably the flyer, just because he hasn't played anything on two, so therefore he's going to play a big creature and I won't be able to attack on my two one. It's not that great. Uh, probably not going to play Radiant Destiny next turn. Probably just going to play one of our three drops. Okay, so I was right, but he also had a flyer, and I should have guessed that he was a flyer because it was blue-white skies. Um... Secrets of the Golden City. So he's playing a slow deck. That was pretty unfortunate for us because now we can't attack. I mean, actually, we, we definitely can't attack. Actually, probably not going to attack because if he, even if he calls our bluff, we only get one damage in, then he gets two damage in, so it's not worth it. Um, do you want to build two permanents or this guy? Probably this guy. And if he attacks, probably won't block. A lot of... Okay, he's not going to attack. Which also implies that he mightn't have a combat trick. Might not. I mean, he could have, because he might have just wanted to play that. Um... Play these two. Or play this and hold up Vampire Zeal for this to kill this. That's decent. A lot of removal spells and bounce spells that get me though, so I think I'll just play this guy. He might not even attack then because then I get in for a decent amount of back damage. Yeah, this this card's uh, really, really good. Hmm, bit constrained on mana, but we can cast all our cards in hand except for one, so it's pretty decent. Getting ever closer to the city's blessing as well, seven. Okay, just attacks at one, that's like super suspicious. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm just going to block. I mean, yeah, I'm just going to block there. Dead Eye Hauler? Or yeah, rig hauler, yeah. So he's gonna bounce one of probably this because it's three mana and I'm kind of stuck on mana. Yeah, that makes sense. Land? That's unfortunate. And then I Yeah, just most mana efficient. Not super happy about it. It's a pretty good tempo play by him, especially since I'm missing the land drops. Same again, except for he attacks with the 2 3. Don't think I want to trade my hammer skill for a 3 2. If he plays another uh, rig hauler, I'm going to be, you know. <laughs> okay, don't think we're going to win this one, guys. Now, if we draw a land off top, that'd be pretty good. Land. Interesting, that wasn't quite a land. We are on 13 though, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna attack this time. I want the 2-2 to trade with this. And I probably will trade my hammer skull for this because we're so far behind.
trying to use the clicker on my the clicker the clicker wow this territorial hammer skull is having a bad day at the office <laughs> okay i think i like double block on this and then he kills my flyer although then i have no flyer blockers which is annoying yeah so maybe i just take five Yeah, as annoying as that is. Once more into the breach, and I guess I'm not attacking or uh, blocking with a merfolk, so I might as well get in with the merfolk while I can. Although he does have hexproof, so maybe I need to jump with him. Yeah, I don't think it's worth the one damage because he can always like run around this guy for the how many time? I don't know. <laughs> I've lost track. I was like, if he does it for the hammer skull, come on. He doesn't deserve this kind of punishment. Oh my god. Um, can't win this one, so just gonna get rid of that. Uh, so he's got some flyers, he's got an enchantment. Okay. What do we have on the board? Where's the plummets? Are you kidding me? I have no plummets? This is outrageous. And all this stuff is a 2 3, so this does nothing. Cleansing regs, good against that aura, but only against that. This is kind of good. It's a flyer. Guess I can take it. What can I take it? Oh, that's the top game. We want to win with these. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe it's just the armor sword. All right. This time, try again. Um, this hand is it's okay. I think I'm gonna keep it. It's got a two drop. It's got a thing that thins our deck and becomes a really good card later in the game. And our opponent's on the multi six, which is nice. I'm probably gonna play the Martyr of the Dusk first, put a bit of pressure on the board. Then hopefully draw three drop and not have to play this. Easy games. That's a pretty bad draw for us. Don't wanna draw any more lands in this game. Yeah, actually zero would be good because the Thematic Compass can just tutor us up lands. Obviously, you could have slash towns here, but it doesn't really make a difference because I'm still going to attack. And suddenly, my hand is uh, filled with uh, three drops. Well, it's going to be momentarily. Um, which actually would make Radiant Destiny a pretty pretty solid draw. Um, so we have two in here, right? I think. Okay. One, two. Go green. Okay. So that's you know that's our next couple of turns sorted out if if if, if we need to if we just don't draw anything. Um, Sailor means it's a pretty decent one. We can block our two one. It's gonna ramp him to his five drop if he has one. Maybe like the three four flyer from um, regular regular thing and a jig. Potentially should have just attacked first. Gonna attack. It's a free roll. This is the, you know, even if he attacks back, I can block on my Legion Confused Store. Or not my one, my, my second one. Ah, so it was the other flying dinosaur. 2 5. Well, luckily, it doesn't have vigilance yet. But also, I can't attack now, which is annoying. Could play the bishop. I'm probably gonna wait until maybe play something better. Plus, I can play my five mana in one turn here. Uh, the radiant destiny definitely looking really good right now. If I draw.
So you can see how Radiant Destiny would be amazing in just a, you know, black white vampires deck. Uh, kind of a, a red green dinosaur deck, or you know, just a dinosaur deck with like ten plus slash towns. Okay, I'd probably bottom that, I presume. Oh, okay. My sweet, sweet conquistadors. And then he's gonna attack with the two five. <sighs> Could play the bishop to exile as 2 5. Or I could end step, thin my deck, get a land. I think I'm gonna do that because, uh, again, he could have like a big dinosaur in his deck or. I'm trying to think of a better flyer than these. He could have a trap jaw raptor that I wanna get rid of. So, plus, it's only two damage in the air. It's not like he's gonna attack with both because then I get to attack with my team minus this. Yes. Oh, okay, so he has another flyer that he's going to play. He's probably going to play the 2-3 um, Ascend card. Uh oh, the Rager. Making my bishop a little bit worse. Because he might get multiple abilities when he attacks. Then plays a rigger, then he gets the rigger's ability again. It's a bad draw. Could be attack on a decent bishop. Probably just want to play the bishop and get the not this because it'll explore if he gets rid of the bishop. Also, probably gonna like attack with it all here. Trades these. Why? Why wouldn't you trade with this? Yeah, it's a bad. That's like just snap a bad block, right? Like, I know the Legion can key stores more mana, but it's, like, the Sun Sentinel has better stats, so I don't know. Also, we know he has Slash of Talents in hand, or he will. So we've got to be wary of that because he can definitely just slash a talons this. Oh, it's target vampire? Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but like he can on the stack slash a talons my guy, so I basically can attack with this or block. Okay. So we've got the spires here, which is pretty busted. Just like a repeatable spell in the game, it's just absolutely insane. We got a lot of lands out of our decks. So oh, here's a good card. If we can uh, deal damage to it. No, definitely not gonna attack with this. So hopefully he doesn't have like Divine Verdict or um, the one that just kills, so it doesn't actually deal damage, so we won't get a plus one plus one container on all our guys. Okay, so he just takes three, I mean that's also okay. I'm not going to play my lands, going to keep them as bluffs. Um, I think we can play every, every single thing in our deck. Like Bellowing Age Sword is the biggest guy. Luminous Bonds. I don't know if we have any way to deal damage to him. But we do have a second one. There's a little flyer for us. So 
Sun Sentinel. Probably should have held that. I mean, I bluffed earlier, so it doesn't mean I actually have it. I know he has Slash Towns. So he didn't want it. Which is great for me because he can't really attack me back. This air elemental doesn't scare me at all. I mean, I have the spires. It's annoying though because I can't attack now. Second one of these. Nice. And if he plays like a Python addiction to it, we'll definitely bring in Cleansing Ray for game three, if we make it to game three. Radiant Destiny would be a good draw as well. I mean, not super good, I still can't really do much attacking. Okay. And then you have Slash of Talons. So I'll happily trade. Two for two. Now he could kill this with some kind of double block. But he has runner ground. So as you can see, Spires are just absolutely insane. We would probably lost, maybe not lost the game, but well, probably lost the game by now. <clears throat> because he would have killed us in the air. Oh, I forgot he has Slash of Talons is gone, so I can attack with this. Uh, but not really, because he has a 4-4. But in general, I kind of can. Did I just say kind of, kind of can? I hope I didn't. He's probably just going to take three for a while. Bison addiction. Okay, that doesn't really. He can get him for two in the air. I'm going to play this pre combat just in case he tries to um, trade with this. I wonder if I can attack all and just win. Probably can do that next turn. Let's see. So he blocks my biggest. Uh, you know, he's one down blocker, so he has four blockers. He has those four blockers. Then I... Oh, two of my... One of my guys gone. Ooh, Squire's Devotion. That's pretty good. So I'm going to have to do some... Uh, calculations... For attacking with all. I can just attack now. Oh! No, he's probably dead. Oh no, he, ah, right, that's why he's not dead. So I take four, but he doesn't get any life. But I can tap this down, and then he only has that many blockers. Hmm. All right. So, attack all. Um, this taps down this. He has one, two, three, four, five blockers. He blocks my biggest guys. One, two, three. Three, four, five. He gains one life, he takes six, he dies. Okay. Pretty sure that if I attack all, I will win the game here. <laughs> or he'll go to one and I'm screwed. Probably. I think I worked that out. So, this is Ghani as five blockers. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, no. I missed that guy. Four, five. And then he takes six. And he gains one. He goes to six. He takes six. He dies. Okay. 
Pretty sure he's Dobbs. For some reason won't let me go to combat. And also involving... Oh my gosh, I got plus one, plus one, which is nice. But he'll probably kill a bunch, so it's not as good. Yeah, making him not gain life is the key. I guess I'll give it to him. Yeah, because it's it's got to be him. So, you know, let's hope I've worked this out. Because I remember there was a game in Triple Ixlan, and I thought I worked something out, and it wasn't worked out. Okay, let's see. Sideboard. Okay, so I actually definitely want to bring in Cleansing Ray, because he has that aura. The lifelink aura is pretty good. And he also has Luminous Bond, so get in there, Cleansing Ray. Take, a, take out a conquistador. Well, yeah, he's only okay. Labyrinth Fire Cannon is good in those long, grindy games. But I'll just do this for now. Ooh, my arm. Wow, that hand's pretty bad. Now, gonna mulligan it. This hand's pretty great. Um, probably. Probably gonna bottom that. Yeah. I'll bottom that because I'm on the draw. We only need six lands. This hand needs no lands, so. Well, that is a. Good draw. See, this is where you take a screenshot of your deck. Okay, let's just do some math. We have two matter, two matter of dusks, the two three flyer, the rare, two conquistadors. Something else. Probably just gonna be vampires. Yeah, but yeah. Could name dinosaurs, probably vampires though, just especially since we have two vampires on the field. It's creatures you control, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. Hmm, do I play this first or this? Or I could use a combat trick to try and get him. Yeah, I'm gonna try and use a combat trick. He'll never block anyway. Flyer is much more valuable. Hmm. I think I play this, even though it's mana inefficient because we don't have anything to play next turn anyway. Obviously I got punished if I draw, like a four drop or something like that. Or if I drew a true two drop, I could have done Radiant Destiny this turn and then two two drops next turn, but um, I want to be able to attack with both of these as three twos. That's that's my reasoning there. Ah, uh, the rigor. The first of many. So I pretty much did get punished because like he has two of these in his deck, so I should have done the more mana efficient play. Land as well. And now, probably happily trade. Let's see what he does here. Yeah, no blocks, of course. Gonna do the mana inefficient play again. Because if I play Radiant Destiny, I take three damage. This way I might not. Depths of Desire. Didn't know we had that in this deck. But at least I made an attempt at not taking three damage. 
Oh, please another follow-up play as well. Okay, at least we get to bo do both in one turn. Uh, probably gonna three mana up. Know, play this pre-combat. He could have uh, Sirens, the counter spell, basically. It's the uncommon from Ixlan. I'd feel pretty hard done by if he did have it. It'd be pretty unfortunate. Also, if he has like Cleansing Rain his deck, I don't think we showed him any. Uh, we didn't show him any. What do you call it? It's... Enchantments. So you know, I don't think so. Anyway, might have played a uh, the enchantment that. Makes creatures can't attack a block and a gain two life, Pison Addiction. And yeah. They play Battling Age Sword and it somehow manages to stay on the field and we deal some damage to it. It would be pretty good to make all the vampires plus one plus one. A little bit of spots. Okay, that's. That's completely fine. It's not completely fine. We're going to be taking five damage here. It's not good. But if we draw a land off top, we get to play our big creature, which is nice. Might be a little too late, though. Yeah, we're going to lose this game, unfortunately. Oh, well. Can't win them all. Uh, this guy's deck's pretty good. I mean, just blue-white tempo, annoyance. I mean, maybe he doesn't have a bounce spell. Kind of needed these to die so we could get some life gain, basically. Yeah, I think it's like he's throwing away his creature because it doesn't make a difference. He's just going to kill me in the air. Or he's going to bounce it somehow with another dead, dead rig eye all or... So, two turn clock. Can get us out of this. I wonder, do I have the life link or in my deck? Because putting on him would be pretty good. Cleansing ray, it's decent as well. I mean, I'd probably attack with both, and and uh, and play the martyr of dusk and hope it doesn't get bounced. Because if he has like a pump spell anyway, we're dead, right? So we might as well try and win. This is eight damage. And then this chumps this, and I get life gain. So if he, if he doesn't have a pump spell, that's not that bad. If he has a bounce spell, we lose. Any pump spell, we lose. But we gave it the old college try. Cleansing Ray, pretty good sideboard card there. And we drew a nice card off the top. <sighs> wow. Okay, we uh, managed to win round one with our medium deck, so pretty happy with that. Just one more and we can go 2-1. I really don't think this deck can go 3-0. Uh, three uh, but thanks for watching.